vragen. Ja, maar daarom dus is het zo. Dus ik doe de intro en dan doe jij het. Maar zit mijn albino dus niet een beetje. Zo is het als jij daar gaat staan. Ja. Oké, okay, cool. Gold Trainer, welcome to another Gold Trainer video. And today I'm here with Basu from the Gold Trainers and me, Eric. And so today we're going to talk about plateauing in your progress, plateauing mm. in your training. Mm. And Basu, what do you do when you plateau? It's a it's a challenging one. Um, uh, I talk with so many people, or I speak to so many people who say that they're plateauing, so they're not really progressing in their workouts, in their strength, in their development of their body. Um, and there are three things I would love to talk about. The first one is variety. Are you actually switching up your workouts? Are you switching up your routines, your exercises, the moments that you are working out? Your body can get adapted to actually the challenges that you bring to your body. So make sure that you bring a lot of variety and diversity in your workouts and the way you train and, and the way you challenge your body. Now, the second one is, are you really challenging yourself? Are you really? I mean, Muhammad Ali said, I don't count my reps. <laughs> I just count the last, I just start counting when it starts to hurt. And there's a big truth in that. Are you really challenging yourself? Because we need to get to our limits and over them to be able to well first damage the muscles but then create better and stronger muscles all right now the last one is are you possibly overtraining are you aware of the fact that when we sleep when we rest that's when we gain the, the most muscle which means that when we train we actually damage the muscle so if you keep training and keep training keep training without taking the right rest or without enough sleep this means you're just damaging the muscle and not repairing it so three important points on plateauing but I'm really uh, interested in like what do you do or what kind of tips do you still have well for me personally uh, and then we're going into the mindset part of mm. plateauing uh, for me personally whenever I plateaued uh, first of all I got a little bit angry or I got a little bit disappointed in myself and I know yeah. a lot of people have that as well yeah maybe you experienced that as definitely. well definitely um, that yeah. you want to progress you want to move forward and and it's just really annoying when your mm. training does not seem to work out because yeah. then you have to put extra effort into getting that progress again so for me with the mindset part of it, I think it's really useful to understand that it's normal to plateau. Like going in progress is not just up and up and up and up and up. Yeah. It has like, it has moment, moments that you plateau. It's yeah, actually normal that you think about exactly. how can I ver um, vary my training mm -hmm. in the most possible way. But then you're talking tips. about like the short term, because in the yeah. long term, of course, you got to progress. Yeah, of course. But like not week to week. No, 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 no. Okay. Like, like eventually you want to progress and you yeah. want to look at you want to check it month by month by month but if you you can't have a personal record every yeah, exactly. single week okay so it's normal to have those plateaus oh. and then next that's what certainly boosted my uh, my progress is yeah. well first of all joining the goal trainers <laughs> that, that's that's definitely it um, and when you want to like cover that as a whole yeah find someone who has more experience and has more knowledge about the whole training process like for example you taught me a lot about training you taught me a lot about getting the momentum and getting the habits of training in yeah. and so the the final tip that i want to give you guys is to find someone who knows a little bit more than you and go train with that someone. right now right now right and now. that someone can be the gold trainers that someone can be your neighbor it can be your friend but find someone who can help you in the moments that you have a plateau. Definitely. That's definitely one thing that I found that helped me a lot and also saved me a lot of time and pain. <laughs> I hear it from many amazing people. I use it myself as well. Find your mentors, find your people that can give you the energy, the mindset, the tools, the steps to be able to get to your goals. We're not here to do, to do it alone. The last thing I would love to say is believe in yourself. I mean, in the end, it's all a mental game. Believe in the fact that you can, well, get better, mm -hmm. get stronger, and find someone who can help you to get that belief 
within yourself. The plateau does not exactly. have to be your default state. Exactly. That's it, 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 it right? should not be your default should never state. be your default so state. So find someone, get some more variety, get some more rest maybe. Yeah. Get a mentor. Um, make sure that you're not overtraining. Um, but I think we, we set it off. Perfect. If you have any questions about training, about mindset, about nutrition, please ask it in the comments down below. Please send us a message. We are here for your healthy habits. We are here for your healthy progress and to help you get rid of that plateau. Hell okay? yeah. We are the gold trainers. Come fly with us. Yeah.